Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. So today we're going to take a just a bit of a quick look at the Boss Tone Studio program for the Boss GT-100. Now, a lot of you may already be familiar with this, and a lot of you won't be. So for the noobs, um, if you're familiar at all with the GT-1000, which is a board I did have for quite a while. Um, I end up actually selling that back to Long McQuaid. Um, and in the end, I did get this GT100. Um, I wasn't using the 1000 to its fullest potential, and it did serve a means either way. Now, I haven't played a whole lot around with this uh, program, but it's very simplistic. Um, the other board I had was an ME80. Um, and I was going to keep the ME80 and then buy this one too. Uh, but then I got to thinking, well, this thing is so easy to manually program on the fly. You know, which the ME80, mostly what you do is on the, on the manual side, other than creating your own presets into user banks. Now, this has 50 user presets and 50 regular presets that you can manipulate any of them any way you want and so you've got four stomps um, on the board so times that by 50 um, it gives you four times 50 is 200 um, and double that is 400 so you have up to 400 so you don't have quite as many as the GT1000 Okay, you're shy by a few. It has five stomps across. But anyways, um, you do have the ability to do uh, a lot of stuff for overriding presets that are already there. If you hold down the two bank buttons, uh, you can then get into manually changing a lot of stuff right on the fly, real quick and easy with this. It's actually a lot simpler to do it on this one than the 1000. Um, the 1000, of course, is not... Cosm technology. This is Cosm technology, this board. Um, the GT1000 is the top of the line flagship model. It's got the newest tech in there. Um, it's an awesome board. Um, but, I mean, if you, if you need it, you need it. If you don't really need it, you can get away with other stuff. So I got to looking at this thing because the layout seemed a lot like the ME80, which you cannot manipulate your chains. And I was thinking, well, the Katana 100, okay, and I have the new Mark II, um, they give us four chains to choose from for pedal order. Um, and I thought, well, what happens if I just click on one of these things and just drag it somewhere? And it switches it, just like the GT1000. So anywhere within the chain here, you can put stuff where you want it to go. So chorus... Let's try and slam it there. Oh, we can put the chorus there. Right? So you can move things around to any position you want to go with. I want to put a reverb down in this area too and expand the tree this way. And so it you have no technical limits of your order in which you want to mix things to get the sound that you're after, right? And that's really important to be able to change your pedal order, um, you know, because you, you can have a distortion from an overdrive or vice versa, you know, you want your compressor first. No, I don't want my compressor first. I want to put my compressor right about in here because I want it to do the job from, you know, have all this going into here and then into here. But then I want my compressor on this side to go through here in the mix. So you can do so much with this that it's crazy. You still have access, of course, to downloading pre-made patches as well. You have your manual side, your main memory bank side, uh, the librarian, of course. Uh, you can import stuff, uh, create your own live sets, um, back up everything you need to do, uh, show memos, hide memos if you have any. Um, you can import patches and whatnot, that sort of thing. I don't have any here yet. Um, but the Tone Studio works the same way as it would on the other machines, right? Now, let's see if we can get back to where we were. All right, this is our editor. So it is a full screen that you're seeing on the editor. You also have your system down here. 
where you can check things and change a few things around as well. Okay, knob setting stuff, um, what they do, etc. Uh, your Excel slash control patch stuff, um, your USB, you know, manipulate all that, MIDI stuff, program mapping, uh, guitar to MIDI, um, device, okay, the version, okay, this is like 1.13. So, the program is very simplistic, very easy to use. You know, so this is on high gain stack, right? And this is part of your preamp. Now, if you don't want that preamp on, you can just turn it off. It doesn't matter. Turn it on or off. Um, but if you want to go into like extreme lead power drive, the JC120, uh, you've got the clean twin, uh, Pro Crunch, Tweed, Deluxe, you got a lot of choices in here right just for this one uh, but then you want to go to your FX area okay um, this one is currently off so we'll turn it on tone modify guitar sim defretter wave synth that sort of stuff right well okay so we have an FX1 I want an FX2 there as well um, and I want to put my overdrive there slam my compressor over here so if it's got a red mark it means it's active okay if it's not red then it's not active of course but when you're done you simply cl click right patch setting high gain blah 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 now in here you can name the patch which works out really good i love this um because on the ME80, of course, you couldn't name your patches. They're just like user one, user two, user three, and so on, right? This thing here, I can pick the location where I want it, okay? And, of course, I can also name it whatever I want. So this way, if I want to set up a patch for a specific song, I can name it according to that song, and on the on one of the displays, it's a twin split display. Instead of saying high gain stack, well now it'll say uh, I don't know, glory to the Lord song or um, Amazing Grace. So I know what song is where, uh, and I put them in order according to um, our schedule that we do for our Sunday service. And I can say, okay, I'm going to push this here because this is number one, this is number two, number three, number four. Oh, I got to go up to bank you know, two now, because Bank 2 has the rest of my songs in order, you know, and that works. I like the fact that I can name my patches. That's awesome, you know, and uh, so you'll find this is a very useful board, very useful tool with this program too. Now, you don't even have to mess with the software if you don't want to. Boss has put a huge, huge pile of presets into this thing, um, and you can manipulate the presets, like I said, on the fly. Just hold down the two bank buttons at the same time to go to manual mode, and you can switch things on or off. You can rotate and change between different effects. It's very simplistic and easy to do. Um, does not take much to, to do it. You can manually write that patch and uh, overwrite it to what you want to save it, and bing, bing, away you go. I mean, you know, what could be easier? You know what I mean? So, and you've got boatloads of different effects as well, which is really, really good. We've got tons of effects in here, you know, that we can play around with. Um, there's probably just as many effects in here um, as there probably is in the GT1000. I'm sure the GT1000 has a few extra effects that this one doesn't have, obviously. Um, but um, it works, it, it gets the job done, right? It makes it simple and easy to use. And I'm doing this all on a little uh, Asus laptop that I just got today. And because uh, I wanted a machine like this specific for doing this. So if I'm portable on the go to, I can just bring this. And it's really easy to even put this up on stage with me and quickly write a patch in and give it a name of a song. I could do that real fast and easy. Um, you know. Uh, but um, yeah, great program, works well. You can manipulate your effects, you know, um, any way you want. Just, you know, monkey with things. You know, your mode, your frequency range, your peaks, your direct mix, your main effect level, all that sort of stuff. And you can either, you know, click it here if you want it. 
instead of you know using the slider knobs with your mouse you know uh, you want it down uh, you want to go this way you know whatever you know type of thing and you can preview your sounds obviously because you plug in your guitar and it plays through your amp so whatever you do here you can hear right through your guitar amp at the same time to know that you got the right tone that you're after for the amp and if you do need to tweak your settings a little more by the time you get up on stage you can manually tweak your settings and write those settings that fast okay when you're on stage to make compensate the difference from the area that you programmed it in versus your your stage platform you're on so anyways, um, that's just a little quick view of the Boss Tone Studio for the GT100. Um, you know, uh, stay tuned too. I still have a review to do on this board. And so far i got to tell you, I'm really, really liking this board. And it is definitely going to be a very, very useful tool. Uh, compared to all the other boards I've had, I really love this. I really adore the GT1000, but even I wouldn't be using that to its fullest potential. And for everything that I do... Um, you know this board does the job and you know um, with the Cosm technology I can tell you right now the acoustic simulator pedal difference between uh, Cosm tech versus the GT 1000's tech for the same acoustic simulator the Cosm one as far as I'm concerned that one actually sounds way better than what they did on the GT 1000 no offense it's a great board I loved it um, but you know it's my ear for what I'm trying to hear and listen to we all have our own taste as well right so we all got to keep that in mind um, but uh, I like this one better for that particular effect but I'm so happy too that I can arrange my pedal order any way I see fit the same way I did on the 1000 and I can name my patches that's a huge benefit as well for setting up your sets for for your gigs or whatever you're doing anyways Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Like I said, just a little quick overview of the program. And, uh, you know, do check out the GT100. They still make the thing. They still sell it at Long and McQuaid in Canada. And probably, you know, if you're not in Canada, well, there's probably places you can buy it to. And, you know, it's literally like half the price of the GT1000. And I, the way I see it, it's still a really awesome board. Uh, either way and even all the other effects are really well done effects you know um, but um, to each his own you know what they say right so thanks again and we'll catch you on the next one ciao for now